my EDC bag, my everyday carry bag. It goes with me most of the time, if not all the time. And it carries my daily essentials. Let's dig in what's inside. In the outer pocket, I got this isoperable alcohol. An essential these days to disinfect. On the other side, oh, another isoperable alcohol for good measure. In this compartment, I got some medicines, some anti allergy stuff, and some quick relief for discomforts that you're not we're not expecting for the day a small bottle of perfume to make sure that i don't stink my wallet make sure that i've got my cash and cards in it let's go to the main compartment what do we have here shades to look cool power bank There's something to make myself and my stuff clean. A pack of face masks. An essential as part of the new normal. Here I got a pen. I got a Nightcore pen light. A little knife here. Just a CRKT CEO. Just to open packages and some light stuff. So, this is a sling of the bag. Not too loaded. It looks like a harmless bag. But, hey, there's another compartment here. What's inside? Mm-hmm. It houses my EDC pistol, this cutie little one. So this video is about the Beretta Pico, not a knife, the usual stuff in the Climb Sharp Stuff channel. This is another deviation. Alright, first let us clear the gun because I know that this thing is loaded. I do chamber load this thing because it's kind of tricky to put it put it around in the in the chamber. So I always carry it loaded. So what's up with this little thing? It's probably the thinnest 380 caliber pistol that I have encountered. Let's measure it. So it's around a centimeter and a half. Wow, so thin. How about the weight? I got my, I got my scale here. Ten ounce, ten ounce, just three ounce heavier compared to my. Spider Paramilitary 2 in copper scales. So this is a really EDC friendly gun. Let's see a couple more specs here. This one's got a 2 inch barrel. A total length of 5 inches. And a height of 3.5 inches. This is a mention here. Without the magazine of course. It's so slim because... The controls are flush on the side, but there's only one control. It's the slide st stop. It doesn't have a thumb safety, so no protrusions on the side. Hammer is shrouded. It's got a different configuration for the magazine release. Instead of a button here, you got here some kind of a lever where you push it down to release the magazine. By the way, I put a Pachmeyer uh, rubber grip in here because it's 
it's so thin I can hardly grip it so this one helps for the retention but if I intend to carry it and uh, I want it to disappear in my pocket I would remove this thing and put on the magazine that is flush it's got two magazines by the way this one's got a a shoe which serves as a your pinky finger extension so you get a three finger grip on it the one that has no shoe you only have two finger grip on it but it or concealability purposes that you would use that one they got the same load capacity so this is how the magazine release works you push it down All right now the trigger this is where the trouble is because it's a tough trigger to pull because this is a double action only right it's got irregular sides three dot sides that's one thing that's good about it now how about the action on this one honestly I have not fired a lot of rounds off this one because of the availability of ammunition the 380 ammos here in the Philippines is kind of pricey compared to nine mils and I can't find any local reloads for this one so maybe I've fired like 50 to 70 rounds off this one so not much action now how did I fare shooting this little thing acquiring the target is easy because it's got big rear and front sides with three dot system in it it's quite easy All right but squeezing it is another story as you can see it's a tough heavy trigger to pull it's a long way i fired it in a range of 10 meters and I can get a good groupings but there are shots that really go astray sometimes when you pull it you do you anticipate the gun to go off sometimes I jerk for whatever reasons that I I got shots that go astray This is such a loud gun for its minute size. No problem handling the Rico. Well, I can say it hits accurately, provided you get the perfect timing for squeezing. tried shooting it with my strong hand no problem with the recoil there but let's find out how we did in terms of accuracy well two perfect shots two good shots and two went away <laughs> Of course, we shouldn't be expecting that this gun would shoot as good as those standard size guns. This just serves as a backup gun. Something you put in your pocket, maybe in your boot or in your bag, just for emergency when uh, your main gun fails or it, you lost it, something like that. Now as a defensive weapon, is it gonna be good enough? This is the 380 round. This is from Remington Golden Saber. 
I want to compare it with the 9mm, but this one is different. This is from Magtech. Well, let's just compare the height. Yeah, the 9mm is taller. Longer, I mean. Maybe I'll paint a picture of two golden sabers. One for 380, one for 9mm. Because it's hard to compare the diameter with, with two different ammos. So I guess it's going to be good enough. Um, it's a matter of shot placement if you intend to use it for defense. So what else is there to talk about this gun? How about maintenance? This is an easy pistol to disassemble. You see there's some kind of a lever here. We can use a flathead screw. Or in this case, I'm going to use the butt of a casing. You want to use your fingernail, go ahead. There's an arrow for the direction. I'll just twist it 90 degrees there and the slide will come off. All right. One thing that is good about this also is that you can change the frame. This plastic frame. Um, by twisting the lever further, you can. Oh, you can remove this, and you can pull this metal part, and then you buy one of these. You want it in pink. You want it in OD green. I'm thinking about purple. That would be cool. All right, and then you drop this portion there, and then you got a customized pickle. To replace it, you just have to place it where you pull it off and then rack it and it, oops. Oh, I think I have to return it to the previous position like that. There, done. So, what can I say about this little thing? I'm happy that I got it for the price. How much did I pay for this one? I paid like 25,000 pesos for this one. That will be roughly $500. So, yeah, it's a cool gun. I wanna put it back in my EDC bag. So what I'm gonna do is to load it. That's what happens when you load it. And then I'm gonna remove the magazine, put another round in the magazine so that I have six rounds here and another one in the chamber. All right there, no safety. But then I don't think it's gonna go off accidentally because of the heavy trigger pull. I'm gonna put back this sleeve, grip sleeve. And then place it inside my EDC bag. There you go. All right. Keep safe everyone, till next time.